Today I'm going to show you how I currently have my planner set up um, in anticipation of 2017. So I'm expanding to two planners and those of you in the planning world are probably laughing because everyone ends up with more than one planner. But um, so as you may recall, I started out with a happy planner and my original intention was to have um, my weekly spreads um, as so, this is my current. But as you will kind of notice, as I'm just showing you right now, um, it's really hard to move these pages in the Happy Planner. So my original plan, as you can see by these tabs here, I was going to have my health and fitness tracker in the back section. So I had it all set up and I was going to flip through, but as you can see, it's kind of hard to turn these pages in the Happy Planner. Um, I do like how you can remove the pages, which is cool, which is why I like the ring binding. But when you have to go back and forth, you have to kind of monkey with it. And so I found myself not really wanting to track my food and beverage because you have to sort of like flip through everything. So. I ended up saying to myself, okay, so now what am I going to do? Um, I still need to track my water and food. And I thought, well, maybe I could buy a mini fitness planner. And then I thought, well, that's dumb because ta -da -da -da, I had this goal gutter um, journal and it's from Fitlosophy. And I got this for a review. Um, through Amazon Vine and it's pretty cool but I haven't found myself using it very much. Um, I start and then I end up not going through it but I think if I actually use this as my tracker then I'll use the other features that it has which are actually pretty nice. So I'll just kind of give you an overview here. So we've got, it's undated so if you skip out for a couple days that's alright. Um, you just write in the date. Today I'm grateful for and it actually, to me, it seems kind of weird that they have the today I'm grateful for in the beginning of the day. Um, it seems like that would be at the end, so I'm planning to just fill it out at the end of the day. Um, but I do like the goal. Start out with your goal for fitness. Um, one thing I appreciate about my body. Then again, this I'd probably want to do at the end of the day. Um, and then write your day. Move, nourish, reflect. And then you have like the number of minutes, energy level, rate your mood, which is pretty cool. They have a little fit tip. Um, and then this is the side where I'm going to be adding in my fruit and veggie tracker, my water tracker, and I'm going to just keep a running log here. So I think that because it has this handy little bookmark um, and I won't have to go flipping through my happy planner, that I'll actually use this. So... I'll check back next week and let you know how it went. But um, back to the happy planner. So I have my January monthly spread. You know, let's get a little bit closer here. So with a January spread, um, I use, I'm obsessed with Oh Hello in case you can't tell. Um, the designer and the owner of the shop is right um, in my hometown. So I just have to buy them all the stickers all the stickers okay so I have the January and I love how these colors really fit in with the color of the happy planner and just once again this is the happy planner it says make every day count I don't know if they actually have names but every happy planner has different colors on the inside um, so what I did was I basically just um, set up the major things um, not yet but I do have the fly lady zones on the side. Um, one of my resolutions is to really do a better job of cleaning. So Fly Lady is awesome at that. Then I've got my to-do list over here. And then for next week's spread, I really had not intended to go all out with all these stickers, but um, I seriously fell in love with January's subscription. So um, I kept the little calendar. I'm not sure if I'll keep this permanently. Um, I'm just not not sure how much I'll actually use the calendar on the side. But so then I have um, my goals, my daily focus from the Miracle Morning, and I bought this really cool stamp, which you can see. And 
This is on sale at Michael's. Um, anywho, that's just where these little focus and the goal stamps came from. I haven't filled it in for this week yet, but what I did fill in was my little fly lady tracker. I'm pretty proud of myself. I made my own printable, the mileage log. Um, I need to make the lettering a little bit thicker, but I think it turned out pretty well for my first time around. Um, so then I've got my to-do lists and I've got my workouts, if there's a workout that night. And then my meal planning will go here. My fly lady assignments will go here. Got my weekend to-dos over here. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking this will work. Uh, what I mainly use this for, um, like I said, is my personal to-do lists for my side business, my workouts, um, anything household related, pretty much anything that's not related to my eight to five job um, because most of that is kept electronically. So this is just my fun little me book. All right, I will let you know how it goes next week because as those in the planner world know, we are always searching for planner piece and we will see how this works. Thanks so much for checking it out and subscribe to the um, channel.